Hey, what's up, you guys? It is Rib Eater Ten here. Um, showing you how to make a Plantera's bulb and life fruit spawner. Now, what you're gonna want to do is clear out a space underground. Has to be pretty big so that it'll actually count as a jungle. About, it doesn't have to be that big. And don't mind the water; that doesn't have to be there. I put that for a different reason. Anyways, um. It has to be pretty big, and then once you, yeah, once you actually empty out the spot, whatever, I'll just drop that. Once you empty out the spot, what you're going to want to do is put mud blocks across. So you're going to have to go to the actual jungle, not your artificial jungle. Oh, there's a life fruit. Um, you're going to have to go to the actual jungle, get some mud blocks, or just the underground and get at least one jungle seeds um, these jungle grass seeds so that you can start you can plant it like like this on the mud and then it'll start as that and then if you're actually in the game like in this map and you don't have to be moving around you can be away from your keyboard or controller or I'm not sure if you can on on the iPod and iPad edition anyways what you're gonna want to do is it has to be for life fruits to spawn it can be in this dirt because obviously there's one right there but for plantaris bulbs the lowest I've got one to spawn is right here it's below this dirt right where my cursor is it's below that dirt and on like that background wall dirt and this background wall it has rocks and dirt and these little kind of leaf looking things on the sides so you have to make it below there for any plantera's bulbs to spawn now the hard part about beating plantera in one of these is that yes you can get the bulbs to spawn but once you do you have to if if you can kill them as fast as you can that's good but if you can't what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna shoot them a little bit like just shoot them shoot them shoot them until it gets kinda close to like right here to kinda far away then you're gonna use a teleporter and go to the other side and keep shooting them you're going to want to make them on the same row, too, so that Plantaro won't move around. You can get the most hits on him as possible and kill him as fast as possible. You might want to bring around life potions, but you don't necessarily have to because hopefully you won't even have to use one if you're using those teleporters correctly. So anyways, that's what you do, you guys. I will see you in the next video.